Welcome to the training on tennis rackets. Recommending a tennis racket adapted to the customer's needs can be complicated given the number of rackets available and the technical characteristics that need to be known. It should be noted that an inadequate tennis racket can interfere with the customer's game and also cause injury. Before presenting the racket's characteristics, we'll take a look at a brief description of its different components. Let's start with the beam. It is the frame of the head of the racket which holds the strings. We then have the strings, the strung surface of the racket, followed by the throat, which is the part connecting the head of the racket and the handle, and finally the handle, the part with which the player holds his racket. Each component has their own characteristics that influence the racket choice. Let's take a look at the racket's frame profile. The racket's frame profile is actually the thickness of the beam. Its value is referred to in millimeters. The thickness of the frame influences the stiffness of the racket, power, and control. The wider the profile, the more power the player will have, but less control. It is therefore suitable for beginners or players playing with more finesse than power. Conversely, the thinner or more narrow the profile, the more control the player will have, but less power. It is therefore suitable for players with a powerful game who are looking for more control. Let's now look at the different racket head sizes. Broken down into three key sizes, such as mid-size, mid-plus, and oversize, the head size will have an influence on power, flex, comfort, tolerance, and maneuverability. The size of the head is referred to in square centimeters or square inches. The sweet spot can be defined as the geometric center of the string area. The larger the racket, the larger the sweet spot. This is the area that allows for the best spin with power and more game precision while generating the minimum shocks or vibrations for the player. The average sweet spot area ranges from approximately 95 to 104 square inches. Rackets with a medium sweet spot are a versatile compromise that can be suitable for all players. They allow more ball control while allowing less power. They are less favorable to lifted shots and are less comfortable for the player. They are ideal for intermediate and advanced players. The oversized sweet spot surface is usually more than 105 square inches. Rackets with an oversized sweet spot increase power while decreasing ball control. They make it easier to lift at shots and absorb shocks and vibrations, making the game more comfortable for the player. Their size makes them less maneuverable and removes precision from the player's game. They are to be recommended to beginners or good players who put a lot of power in their game. Finally, the surface area of the small sweet spot usually varies between 80 and 95 square inches. Rackets with a small sweet spot decrease power while increasing ball control. They make lifted shots more difficult and absorb little shocks and vibrations, making the game more demanding for the player. On the other hand, they are very maneuverable and allow more precision in the player's game. They are to be recommended for advanced players who put little power in their game and seek precision since the small sweet spot requires to center the ball well. Let's now look at the string pattern. All rackets are strung with strings running vertical, which are considered the main strings, and horizontal, which are the cross strings of the string area. The string pattern is one of the racket's characteristic that influences the power and the control of the ball by the player. The two main string patterns are 
The 16 by 19, which is 16 vertical strings and 19 horizontal strings, also known as open pattern, and the 18 by 20, which is 18 vertical strings and 20 horizontal strings, also known as a dance pattern. The open string pattern is quite versatile. It allows to have more spin in the game while maintaining good control of the ball and good power. It's the perfect choice for beginners and kids, as well as for players with a low power game that will allow their racket to do this for them. However, the open string pattern wears out faster. It's more difficult to play with a dense string pattern. It allows less power and less spin since there is less space between the strings compared to the open string pattern. On the other hand, the player will have more control of the ball and will be able to place it with more precision. Now let's take a look at the weight of a tennis racket. Strong rackets for adults weigh approximately between 270 and 370 grams, or 9.5 and 13 ounces. The racket's weight influences the following parameters, power, maneuverability, and comfort. A lighter racket is more maneuverable while giving less power. With a lighter racket, the player's arm absorbs shocks and vibrations, which can cause injury. It offers more freedom for technique and is well suited for beginners or players who have little amplitude. A heavier racket, on the other hand, allows for more power while being less maneuverable. It also has the advantage of absorbing shocks and vibrations better than a lighter racket. It can help to acquire a good technique because to handle it without excessive fatigue, you have to find the right one. It is suitable for intermediate players at higher levels and who have ample gestures. Now let's look at the balance point of a racket. The balance point of a racket corresponds to the distance between the base of the handle and the point where the racket remains in balance since there is as much weight on either side. This point is usually located midpoint of the racket. The balance should not be confused with the weight of the racket. The balance of a racket is an important criterion to consider because it directly influences the maneuverability. As the length of the racket is usually 27 inches or 68.5 centimeters, a racket which is balanced in the center, or having a neutral balance, will have its balance point at about 13 inches, or 32 centimeters, from the base of the handle. A racket that is balanced in the center is versatile and offers a good compromise between power and maneuverability. A head-balanced racket will have more weight on its head. This type of racket provides more power, but less control. As a result, it is less maneuverable. In addition, a highly balanced head racket more easily tires the player's arm and can cause elbow injuries. It will allow, however, a beginner or intermediate player to gain power. A handle balanced racket will have less weight towards its head. This type of racket provides less power and more control. It is therefore more maneuverable. In addition, it is less likely to cause elbow pain. It is for the good level player that already has a powerful game, which will gain control and maneuverability. Players who like to go to the net also appreciate the maneuverability of this type of racket. Now let's take a look at the stiffness of a racket. The ability of a racket to flex when making contact with the ball corresponds to the flexibility of its frame. Its value is expressed in ramen. A flexible racket will have a ramen between 55 and 60, a medium range between 62 and 67, and a stiffer racket will be over 67. The stiffer a racket is, the more power it gives and the less control it allows. Conversely, the more flexible it is, the longer the ball stays in contact with the strings, giving more control, but less power. 
Let's now look at the handle size of a racket. What is meant by the size of the handle is actually its circumference and not its length. Why is the size of the handle important? An unsuitable size for the player's hand interferes with his technique and can result in injury. For example, a handle that is too thick forces the player to hold his racket tighter, causing additional tension in the wrist and forearm. There are two ways to determine the right size of a racket handle. The first, the simplest, is the following. Ask the customer to take the racket and close their fingers on the handle. The space between the fingertips and the palm of the hand should allow the index finger of the other hand to be placed in it to fill the space. The second, more precise method requires the use of a ruler. Ask the customer to open their hand and to place their fingers together with thumb open. Align the ruler edge with the bottom lateral crease of the palm. Measure to the tip of the ring finger. In the example shown, the grip size indicated is 4.5 inches, which corresponds to a size 4 on the chart. Now let's take a look at the important points when choosing a racket for kids. The size of the child is the criterion that determines the length of the racket he must have. The weight of the racket and the other features we reviewed are proportionate to the child. As an adult, choosing a racket that is not suitable for the child can cause injury, impair technical learning, and limit progress. There are three ways to determine the length of a racket to propose. The first two methods require the child's participation, and the third is based on their size. For the first method, ask the child to take the racket in his hand and to lower his arm against his body. If the racket reaches his ankles, it is the right length. If it's higher, it's too short. Lower, it's too long. In the second method, ask the child to take the racket in his hand and to lower his arm against his body. Holding it with his fingertips, the racket should touch the ground. If he has to bend his knees for the racket to touch the ground, it is too short. If he has to bend his arm, it is too long. The third method requires knowing the size of the child. From there, choose the length of the racket from the table. If the child's size for his age does not appear on the chart, for example, the child is five and measures 46 inches, choose the racket that corresponds to his size, even if the age does not match. When well advised on his racket choice, your customer will be able to fully enjoy his next tennis game, which is a great exercise for the mind and the body.